Hey Milan, how you doing? Please correct me if I'm saying your name wrong. I hope I'm not. I wanted to look at your website. I was pretty thrown off by your response. I can't believe you spent that much and haven't seen any results. So I wanted to at least go through your website, show you what they have done. And if it's any use to you, feel free to use some of this and do it on your own to get some results because no one, no one should be spending that much, especially in your area. It's actually not that difficult to rank for custom home building in San Diego. So I just wanted to show you what they have done and what, you know, what they should have been doing and honestly what you can do on your own to start ranking. So for starters, I want to say that this is an awesome video. I actually watched it a couple of times through. I don't know if these are houses you've built, but they're beautiful. Um, these are some really, really awesome houses here. So I scroll down and then obviously we've got the different types of homes that you do. Uh, this part could look a little bit better. It's it almost looks like it was made for a phone, but not a computer, which is fine. Um, just this part could look a little bit better here, but no worries. It looks fine here. Uh, let me scroll down. Same thing with this stuff. It's just a little black and white and generic. That's okay. So it doesn't look too, too bad. We've got some really nice pictures. Five star experience. Awesome. Yeah. Having tons of reviews, maybe in a slide. Show. Oh, it is a slideshow. Perfect. Having reviews in a slideshow is an awesome way to build trust with people. Even better, you can download editions. That's beautiful. And your footer. So the one thing I am noticing is there doesn't seem to be quite enough content on here and it doesn't seem like there's keywords within your content and I'll explain what I mean. So as far as the content, you want to have at least 1500 words on your homepage and this is for two reasons. The first reason being for Google. So Google has crawlers and they come through and actually read the content. They're trying to figure out what areas you serve and what services you offer. Again, the more content you have in their eyes, the more of an expert you are. The second reason being is that you want to beat out your competition. So if they've got a thousand words, you're going to want to have 1500 and so on. Within that content, you want to have keywords. So let's say, for example, someone is Googling custom home builder San Diego and you had custom home builder San Diego multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant that search right like you, you literally have those words on your website and it's going to make you much much more likely to show up when someone is searching for that so really important to get some more content on here and make sure those keywords are in your content now if we did a search for that custom home builder san diego uh, we can see he's running an ad here um, this is called the map pack and so the top three listed here are the ones that receive a lot of the work because they're super easy to find and they're listed right away the websites listed below here these are called the organics and the same things apply you want to be on the front page and ideally within those top three positions this is just a direct it's more like a blog here and this is just a directory for house but let's take a look at this first local guy we can see he's got he's got a video too got a nice video here okay yeah this, this looks pretty good it's modern not too much text some beautiful pictures all right this is a good layout but again not tons and tons of content so if you have 1500 words you'd definitely be beating him out content wise you might even be close to that now so let's talk about why he is ranking this is a paid program I use to research websites called Arifs. I went ahead and put them into here so we can see what you're up against. The second thing I want to go over is you are in DR ratings. These are really important for where you fall in the search results. A UR rating is essentially a trust rating with Google and a DR rating is essentially a power rating. So how powerful is your website and how trustworthy is your website in Google's eyes? These numbers are generally raised by backlinks. We can see they have 570 backlinks. And I just want to explain quickly what the heck that is. So that's essentially just a shout out from another website. So like we saw the first one ranking was a blog website saying the best builders in San Diego. Let's say they had you listed at let's say 10th place. MMD construction is the best construct or best home builders here. Go to their website, www.mmd, you know, whatever your website URL is, and someone could click on that. That's a backlink. All they're doing is shouting out your website. Okay, so that, that's what a backlink is. 
Lastly, I want to talk on organic keywords. These are the keywords within the content that I was talking about before, and this is the good stuff. So I can see how many people are searching for things. Home Builder San Diego. There's approximately 300 people who Google this search term a month. Custom Home Builder San Diego. There's approximately 150 people who Google this a month. Home Builders in San Diego, another 100 people. San Diego Custom Home Builders, another 80 people. San Diego Luxury Home Builders, 40 people. Builders San Diego, I mean, I could keep going and going, right? But so obviously there's tons of search volume and even for specifically luxury home builders, as I know you guys do a lot of that, there's a lot of search volume, right? So it's really important that you show up at the top for these so that those people who are searching are going to find you. I mean, they're obviously already looking for a home builder. So you, why not have them find you, right? Why not have those leads come to you? If we look at your website's ratings, we can see your UR rating is, is good, but your DR rating is really, really low. And that's because you have a, a lack of backlinks here, right? You, you barely have any backlinks. So the marketers that were doing stuff for you, they at least did something, right? These numbers aren't zero. They, they definitely did something, but they really lacked on powerful backlinks. And we can see that because this DR rating is so low. And to show you your organic keywords, we can tell that they definitely don't have the keywords in the content because you're not showing up for a lot of them. So, okay, cost to build a house in San Diego. That's, that's not bad, 300 people searching. You're in roughly 13th place. So this is roughly the second page of Google. We can see your name, like, okay, not bad, not bad. Again, how much does it cost to build a house? Uh, okay, here we go, custom home builder San Diego. That's a good one. Again, roughly second page for that. We have a lot of irrelevant words. Okay, here's this again, third page. And then, so down here, we can start to see some of the really relevant words to you, but you're on roughly the second, second page for all of them. And that's not bad, that's a really good start. Like, you're pretty close. So if you just got some of these last really important pieces to the puzzle, you could definitely get yourself onto that front page. I hope that this was really helpful for you and I look forward to hearing your feedback on this video. Have a great night.